All right, guys, so this video is specifically for a client who bought our whole catalog of right now of 1,800 uh, plus songs, but uh, it'll also help you, uh, anyone out there who's trying to uh, figure out how to back up their uh, their sets on an, on an external hard drive or on a secondary external hard drive to put away for storage, and it'll also help you uh, show you how to organize sets for playing live. So let's get into it. So first off, let's talk it, let's flatline this. We're going to back up uh, the set that you actually got from us that was uh, all 1800 plus songs. And if it's someone else just watching that, we're just showing you how to make a copy of the of your existing set to save it for later to make sure you have a backup of it. So um, when you bought the hard drive, when you get the hard drive from us, uh, your your folder is going to look a lot different than this. But basically, you're looking for this main. Uh, you'll you'll have a, a one that says master set list or something in it. And if you open that, you're going to see now yours is going to look different. Yours basically only going to have this, 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 and it's not going to have all this other junk in there except it'll have like the sample folder and all that kind of stuff. And whatever folders are in this folder in your backup, you want to make sure that all stays there. Never separate these because your samples are coming from out of this folder right here. This is samples. You have your imports and your processed and your consolidation. So you can see pretty much all of your songs are in there. So if you move these out of here and delete it, um, you'll still have your samples. You just won't have the ALS file, which tells Ableton where to put the tracks. So just make sure that this folder right here uh, stays intact. Everything inside it stays intact. And like I said, yours is going to look a little different than this because I have a lot of other stuff in here but that you're not that you don't need. Um, but basically if you want to back this up this this main folder, you're just going to basically uh, like right here I have two drives. This is the drive that that my master sets on. So if I go over here to backing tracks and master set. So now I'm finding that little black folder that shows it's in Ableton and I want to make a copy of it on this drive right here. So if I just open, if I just go down here to the finder and right click, click uh, new finder window and I can go over here to the, and I can select my second drive. Now if you don't see these drives over here, um, you might see them on your desktop or whatever, but if you don't see them, what you ought to do is go up here to finder and click uh, preferences and then right here, it's going to show you everything that's, that you're going to see or not see. So if I take this stuff away, you can see those drives disappear. So when you open this finder window, I just highlight everything. So I can see all my drives, anything that's connected, you know, over here. And, uh, and then you can just close preferences, and then you can see that over there. So again, I'll just go over here to finder, right click, new finder window. Now I'll have those drives over here. And I'll, I'm going to back everything up onto this no-name drive because it's my my master drive. I'm going to back it up to a no-name drive. So I'll click on that. Like yours will probably be blank. But all you have to do then is just grab your Ableton master set list, the whole folder, drag it over and drop it inside here. I'm not going to do it because this drive won't fit. But just drag it over and let go, and it'll copy everything over there. Um, and it'll make a copy. It's not going to delete anything out of here. All right, so that's how you back it up. And then now, when you're creating a set to put on your laptop um, for live shows and that kind of stuff, this is how I would do it. I would just leave everything on your drive that you're going to be working from. And in my client's case, um, he's got a two terabyte drive that we sent him, but he's also got a five terabyte drive. So after you copy over your five, your five terabyte drive, that's where I would... Um, be working on your sets is from your five terabyte drive and then put the two terabyte drive up in the closet and uh, you know wrap some tin foil around it so it just has it as a backup. So then what I do is you click on that and uh, when you're building a set you don't need to move this whole folder over to your Ma over your to your MacBook because it's about like a terabyte and a half or something like that. But basically just what you want to do is 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 open up A and you can, just, you can work right off the drive for this is open up A uh, through Z or whatever whatever song you're looking for. I'm going to open up A. It's going to take a little while to populate. <laughs> All right, so I had to pause that to let the set populate because this set actually has, you know, so many songs in it, probably 800 songs in there. So 
Uh, but the first thing you want to do is after you open a set, and it doesn't matter which set you open uh, from your master sets. Um, if you're if you don't have all these master sets, if you're just someone who wondering how to build sets, then this wouldn't really uh, regard to you. But uh, anyhow, so it but it wouldn't matter which set you open. You can open any set. You just just pick a song that you want to start with and open uh, one of these three. And uh, and then what we're going to do is is before we do anything else, we're going to do a, is go up here and go to File, click on Ableton to make sure you're on, you have Ableton up here, and then go to File and Save As. And we're not going to choose a location because we want it to be saved in the exact same master set folder because we're not what we're doing is we're not moving audio files. We're just creating another uh, Ableton. Uh, ALS file, so you can you can kind of look at that like a spreadsheet, you know, for your uh, for your stems. So anyhow, we're just going to create another set another set uh, ALS file in here. We're going to call it whatever you want to call it. We'll say we'll call this uh, club set, you know, for when you're playing clubs, or or you can put a date on it if you have a particular date show that you're playing. You want those songs for, but we'll call it Club July. Uh, Fourth for shits and giggles. All right, and, and like I said, we're not going to move this right now. That comes later. We're going to save it right in the exact same folder, so it so it's actually calling songs uh, out of these samples right here. So we're going to save it right there. And now you have another. Uh, this set right now is called July Fourth, um, and it's not going to affect your A through J file. So if I go back over here, and I open up my master set list. Let me just go like this. Okay, so now you can see I have <clears throat> A through I, which that's when we had opened. S through J, I mean S through Z, J through R, and now we have Club Fourth, and that's the one we're working on now. Okay, so now that's basically going to be we're going to start setting up our Club Fourth of July set. So say you know I want to have uh, 24K Magic. So if you click on that, if you're on a Mac, just hit. Um, you can either right click and click Copy. Or, um, or you can just click on it and hit uh, Command C, and that copies it. Now I do is just go up and paste at the top. So I want that one, and hit that, and paste is Command V on a Mac. Um, or you can right click and say I want that song. And sorry if it's going a little slow. It will go slow because you're working off the external drive, but that's where you want to do it when you're first building it. Say I want this song, so you can right click and click Copy if you want. And just go up here and click paste. And then, you know, okay, so let that finish doing its stuff up. And then say I want, you know, this song. And maybe I want all three of these together. You just, if you want, if they're together, you can just uh, click on the top one and hold down shift and click on whatever bottom one. So say I want all, all four of these songs right here. So I can just, like I said, click on the top one, hold down shift. And click on the bottom one, and then I can just hit Command C or copy or right click. But if me, I'm going to hit Command C. That's copy, and then I'm going to go up back up to the top, and I'm going to click on that bottom one. I'm going to hit Command V, which is paste. You know, or like I said, you can also right click. If you right click um, or two finger click on a on a Mac, you'll get the little pop down window. But Command C is copy, Command V is paste. So, so right now that's what we have it, that we want for. Maybe I'll take this one too. So Command C, go up here and hit Command V just to give us a few more songs. Okay, so that's all I really want out of this set list for right now. Okay, so now because this is going to be our Club Fourth of July set, we're not going to need the rest of these songs in here because we have the songs that from uh, A through I that we want. And I'm just going to click on the very top song of the song that I don't need, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to hit Shift, and uh, now, now it highlighted all the songs that we don't need. And then you can see these are not highlighted. Now I'm just going to hit Delete button. It's going to take a while for that delete because it's deleting like 800 songs. But that's the main reason why you before you when you first open the set and you're going to start building a brand new set, you want to go Save As and rename that set because if you hit the Delete button on your like a through I or whatever, uh, those songs are gone. You know, if you if you mess up and do it and didn't save, 
then uh, just uh, just close Ableton and click Do Not Save, and then reopen it, and it'll be fine. But that's the first thing you want to do is rename this set in the same folder. That way, you know you have no chance of of deleting your A through or your yeah A through I or whatever set you opened. Okay, so this is the first this is the first the, the songs we want out of that original A through I set that we opened. Okay, so now we're we need to get some more songs out of say uh, maybe we want to get from J through R. Um, so now we're gonna do is just go up here and this the club Fourth of July set. We're gonna click save. If I don't click save, when I go click when I open this next set. So say I want to I want to open up get some songs out of J through R. If I double click on that, it's gonna say, do you want to save changes to club Fourth of July before closing? And we would say, we're gonna say we're gonna say save because we want to save this set. If you look at this and it says master set, you know, A through I or master set, you know, uh, J through R or whatever, click don't save. <laughs> Close Ableton and reopen that set. But because we're on the right set, we want we want to save this to club and so we're going to click save. Now it's going to open the other one and repopulate it. Now it's going to take a little while to repopulate. So now our next set open, the J through R. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, whatever you do, don't save. And if, when you close it, if it asks you to save, say no. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select some of the songs like we did in the other songs. So say we want this song right here. Just going to click on it. And I'm going to hit Command C. Go up here and hit Command V up at the top. And then I'm going to scroll down, find another song I want. Say if I want this one, I'm going to hit Command C, scroll back up to the top, and I'm going to hit Command V for paste, and then scroll back down and grab a few more. So I'm going to say I want this one like a virgin, hit Command C, or again, like I said, you can right click if you have a mouse and click copy, or if you're on a Mac, you can also just hold two fingers down and, and it'll give you that same uh, option or if you hit uh, control click it'll give you that window for copying but the easiest way is shortcut which is command C so I'm gonna hit command C scroll back up the top and I'm gonna hit command V for paste and let's say I want this one too uh, I'm gonna hit command C and I'm hit Command V. So you just keep going until you build as many songs as you want. And then, after you have those all in there, just click on the on the on the bottom song or the top song doesn't matter uh, that you want to move to the uh, to the club set. So we're gonna hit or gonna click on the bottom song, hold down Shift, click on the top song. Now they're all highlighted. And then you hit Command C again, um, or you can right click and hit or hit copy. Now we're going to go back over here, and we're going to hit go to File, and Open Recent, and then we're going to open that Club Fourth ALS, or you can go down here to Finder, and I can just click on double click on the Club Fourth ALS, and then it's going to give me this little Do you want to save? And just click Don't Save. And if it did save it by accident, because you're not deleting these songs, you didn't delete anything. You're just going to, when you save it, you're, you'll put it back up. You're going to have your set songs back up there. That's why we copy and not move them. Um, so, but as a rule, I just hit, uh, I don't want to save that. I just want to open my club set. So now we're over in your club set. Those are already on your, on your your in your clipboard. So you just go over here to a blank area and right click and hit paste or you can hit uh, command V not command C if you hit command C it's going to copy the zero to start all over again so just hit make sure you hit command V and it paste it in there so now you have um, all your songs for your set however long however, however many songs you have in there say if you have you know three hours you can paste three hours worth of set stuff in there but this is all we're working with right now so now if you want to get rid of these colors uh, because they are color coded uh, in the sets that you bought, you can actually just go over here and click on the first color, and go up to the top and hold down Shift and click on the on the last uh, song, and then if you right click, it'll call up a colored panel. So I'm just gonna click No Color. So 
So now I just switched it all to no color. Okay, so say this is your set that you're ready to do, but it's not the right song order. So all you have to do is say, I want to do this song first. So just click on it and drag it up the top. And then I want to do this song next, drag it up, and that song next, and then maybe this song, and this song. And then usually what I do is like, say if you have like two sets, I usually just, I usually grab a zero, a blank area, and I'll drag that up to a, to a set break, right? And I'll just right click and rename, and uh, you know, I'll name this set two, set two. Okay, and I can take one of these up here and drag it up the top and right click, rename, set one. All right, then if you want to color code those, you can just right click on that one single blank clip and I'll say I'll color code that one there, you know, that color, that color, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want to get some more uh, scenes in here, just click on a blank scene and hit Command D, which is duplicate. You can just go duplicate. You know, that way you have extra room if you need it. Uh, when you paste those sets in, it'll automatically put them in there, so it doesn't really matter. But, okay, so now you have uh, your two sets, you know, your first set of the night, however long it is, uh, 10 songs, say, and then, you know, blank spot and, uh, and your second set. So now you can save the. I would just save this, so go to, uh, because we're in Club 4th of July, just so save it. All right, but now we want to put this on our laptop. Um, so we're going to move all these songs over to our laptop. Um, just for space-wise, um, for me, I'm just going to delete this next half so it goes a little faster. But however long, however many songs you have in there, it's fine uh, for saving on your laptop for live performance. But now what I want to do is go over here to File and Save As. And you'll notice it's still going into that master set list. So we don't want to go there. We actually want to go to our laptop. So if you did the um, the finder window, like I told you, we can see everything over here. You can just scroll down to the side and say, okay, I want to you know put that in my music. So I'm going to make this in my music folder uh, file. Or if you if you don't have all the stuff over here, you can go over here and you can click on you know your MacBook Pro, and then I'll click on users, um, Alicia, and music. Just say I'm going to save it in music. So I'm going to call this, you know, the same thing. I'll just save it like that. Or maybe I want to make another folder uh, just for my sets. Uh, so I can put here and put live sets. All right, so we're going to save it. Now it's going to be in music, it's going to be in music and live sets or wherever you want to save it at. Just don't save it to your desktop because desktops take up CPU. So any place besides your desktop. So we're going to, we're going to save it here. So now I'm going to click save. Okay, so now if I go over here and I click um, music and I click um, live sets, as soon as I find them, so live sets, I'm going to open this folder up and I'm going to see, okay, there's my, there's my ALS folder, but there's no sample files in here. So it, it, if you unplug your hard drive, it's not going to see any songs in there. It's just going to be a bunch of blank, uh, a bunch of blank scenes with the names of the songs in there. So what we want to do is, after you go over here and you go to File, Save As, and then you find the directory you want to save it at. Like I said, we went to Music. I made a new folder called Live Sets. So if I have more than one set, you know I know where they're at. And then uh, you know Club July Fourth. Okay. So you just save it there, and then after you save it there on your drive, then you go back over to File, and you're going to go over here to Collect All and Save, and click on that. And then you want to make sure if your, yours comes up and it looks like this, you don't want that. You want all these selected Yes. Okay? So all of them yellow. And then click OK. And now what it's going to do is these are all going to go away and they're going to repopulate. Because basically what it's doing is it's making a copy of all of these sample, um, you know, tracks uh, off of your external drive, and it's moving them onto your internal drive. So now, if I go back over here and I go back to music and live sets, and I click on that club Fourth of July, you can see it added some new fol folders in here, it added samples, 
And if I go down here to process and consolidate, you can see it's starting to, it's starting to put all those song, all those WAV files into this folder. So now when you unplug your external hard drive, it will call them up with the songs on there. And I'll show you how that is in a second. So these are still populating. And as soon as they get done populating, you can see them down here, saving, uh, saving current set. And that gets done saying saving current sets. OK, so now it's done saying saving current set. So now if I close Ableton Live and I eject this drive, so this, is my, this is my drive with my sets on it. So if I go over here and click on backing tracks, master set, you know, it has all my sets on it. And it still has my club set that's reading off of this drive. But now if I, if I eject that drive, there we go. If I eject that drive and I go over here to Ableton, I click on Ableton. <clears throat> and I open up, reopen up Ableton. Your Ableton's going to be a little different because I know you have 11. This is uh, 10 something. Uh, and if I go over here to Finder and I go back to Music and uh, Live Sets and the Club Set, now if I click on this, I can actually it'll populate Ableton with the songs. And like I said, if you don't go to collect all and consolidate after you save it onto your computer, these will all be dark darkened out like this. And you won't have any there won't be actually any tracks in it. So that's what you did. If you if you do that, you go back, you'll realize, okay, I didn't collect all and consolidate. So you just gotta go back over and reopen your set off of your external drive, save it over there and then collect all and consolidate. Um, but I'm going to put it back. Now that you're on your MacBook, okay, and our and our and our uh, backup drive and our, our working drive is no longer plugged in. Um, so say you have, you know, say I'm going to just duplicate this so um, it looks like we have set two, okay. So I'm going to say this is set two. Oops, set two. And just pretend they're different songs. But so say you have a bunch of songs over here. Now, if you want, so say uh, your Club Fourth of July set, you want to play them like that. But say the, you know, next Tuesday you're going to be playing a another club. You can actually just take these songs, move them around however you want, you know, wherever you want the thing, <clears throat> and then just go to File and Save As. Okay, so we're going to save as. But now it's going in the same folder. So you don't have to collect on solid consolidate. We're going to call this, but make sure it stays in that same folder so it's reading the samples out of this sample folder. So we're going to call this um, uh, bar, you know, for the bar we're playing next time. So now I'm going to click save. And you don't got to collect all and consolidate because they're already in that folder. So now if I go over here, you have your club ALS and you have your bar ALS. So if I open my club ALS, you know, it just has those songs in it. But if I open my bar ALS, now it's going to have these songs in it. Now, if you want to add some more songs to your set off of your, um, uh, your master drive, you just, all you have to do is plug your drive back in. And then I'm going to go over here and open a finder. And as soon as that drive shows up, so now I'm going to go over here. And I'll, I need one more song out of that I forgot to put in there. So let's go over here to the master set. I'm going to say it's A through L. I'm going to open that. And as soon as it populates, it takes a while because there's 800 songs on that. Okay, so. If it, after it populated, you know, then you can wait for it to populate. If it's just one song, you can actually just grab it um, as soon as it allows you to click on it and click uh, uh, Command C or can, I'm sorry, yeah, Command C. That'll copy it, and then I just go back over to my the set that's on my Macintosh in Music. So I'll go over here, Music, um, Live Sets, and say I want to put that in the Bar Set. So open up the bar set. Now these this set is located on your on your MacBook. It's not on the external drive. 
So we're going to paste this in here. Okay, but now because we need to go back up again and go to file and collect all and, and save. And that way it's move it's moving just this one song. It'll look like all the songs, but all these songs are already over on your on your MacBook, so it's not going to recopy them. You'll watch after this one song gets filled, these will fill up really quick. See how they just came right in because it, it 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 Ableton already knows that on your Mac that all the rest of these songs are already in this samples folder process. They're already here. So all we're doing is we're taking one more song off of this drive. So now we just got it. After we did that, we want to make sure that we can unplug that drive and that music will still play. That's why you would collect all and consolidate. All right. So I uh, hope that helps you out. Hope it makes sense. I will uh, get this up and send you a link. Anyone else? I hope it helps you guys out.